guys, this is Dreadsy Makes Mandalas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own DIY rocks for mandala painting using the molds from the Happy Dotting Company. The first thing that you're going to need is these molds. I got these from the Happy Dotting Company. Um, Angela sells them and they're fairly inexpensive. I think they're a really good option for you if you are wanting to get more tuned into your rock making and stuff like that so i think this is a really good alternative because most rocks that you see at the store they're not going to be perfectly flat and round so with this what you can do is start creating more flatter rocks to paint on for mandalas or any images that you'd like this one was about eight dollars i believe so she has three different sizes this is the first size i have the uh size one and then size three which is the big one and i'll show you uh how uh to use these so the reason why i wanted to start using more of a mold instead of a natural rock is because this so Although the only you do see this, this is really pretty and everything like that. It's just not going to give me the right surface for me to paint, or flat surface, I should say. Um, there are, you know, things you could use, such as like uh, glue to make this a little bit more flatter. But I really just didn't want to be using additional, you know, products just to create my mandala if I could just already make it at home. So, although this is really pretty and I'm sure it would look really nice once I started painting it, it's not what I wanted. I'm using these molds, so, they're super easy to clean, they're really easy to, you know, keep your molds in here. They're really sturdy, so it's really great. And the nice thing is that she is to you create an indent so that you know where your center dot is going to be. And if you look closely, it's right there. So that's how you know when you start painting your mandalas that that is your center instead of having to measuring it out. What you're gonna do before you start creating your rocks is you need to find a good cement to work with. So in Angela's packet that she includes, she does recommend using the Ultra Cal 30. It's a gypsum cement. So what this does, it helps what I found is <clears throat> when you're using this cement, you need to create equal portions. So for this, I know that I could use one cup of Chacal 30 gypsum cement and I could use a third of water, third cup of water. So one cup of the gypsum cement to a third of a cup of water. You know, make sure that this is a bowl that you use, not for eating, just to create. What you're gonna do is measure out one cup of the gypsum cement. What you don't wanna do is to pack it in really tight like you do when you're baking. I have a bowl here on the side with some water. So I'm measuring out a third of a cup of water. And now that you have it all mixed in without any lumps, now here comes the fun part. What you're going to do is simply just pour the mix into the mold until you reach the very top of the mold. And you're going to see right at you reach the top that there's going to be like a little bevel. That's completely fine. What you can do is just make sure that the cement has been distributed all over. So after this, you can move it very, very carefully to a space where it's not going to get knocked over or your cat or your dog are going to touch it. So you're going to let that rest for about 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can take it out and this is what your final product looks like. It's really flat, it looks really, really nice, and it makes a perfect canvas. And as you see here, here's the center dot, here's the backing, there is going to be some texture and that's okay because there was a little bit of an opening 
for the cement to go in this is what happens so all of the water tries to come up to the top where the hole is but it creates a really soft surface you see here it looks really really cool so how do you get these molds out right so here i'm going to show you one that i've already made this one is a little bit taller it's a lot thicker as well but it's really cool just as the first one so in here what i'm showing you is how malleable this uh, mold is it's super stretchy so it really makes it easy for you to pop out your rock what i'm doing here is holding it at the base and then pushing the rock at the top and there you go that's how you pull them out it's super easy and time and time again you're going to get this perfect canvas to start painting your rocks this one is a lot taller and a lot more rounder than the first one the first one that we made was a little flatter as you see here and what you can do afterwards is painting it what i did here was used a multi-surface paint from folk art and i painted the back as well i am really really pleased with all of this and i recommend it also here what you're going to see is this little divot or groove that my mold came out of but i don't mind it I and again this is the other flatter surface that i made so super super cool super easy and really fun to make and there you go this is well, my review on the happy dotting company molds i absolutely love it i'm so happy that i purchased these and if you want to take your dotting level up another level i do recommend these these are really fun and it creates the perfect canvas that you want um, rather than having to find natural rocks which although are very very pretty and really cool um, this is just my preference that I like to use and here is a picture of my final rocks I want to thank you guys for watching this is Dreadsy Makes Mandalas until next time